What's going on, brothers and sisters? It's your boy, Shalom, Shalom. Coming to you on this Thursday. Kind of wet out there. I've been out doing some running around and whatnot. You know, paying some bills and, and stuff. You know, about five steps in front of this this cold that's trying to chase me, trying to get on me and everything. My daughter's sick. Nice is sick. Carter got a little cold. So I've been praying for him and whatnot and stuff. But, you know, I'm just out and about and everything. Got back and picked up my word. <clears throat> Start doing some scripture reading and stuff, you know, for the day and everything. With it being throwback Thursday, or whatever, and everything. So, um, let me just want to share with y'all where I'm at today. What I'm thinking about, what's been on my mind, what's been on my mind. Um, Philippians chapter two. Start at verse one, dealing with um, imitating Christ's humility. You know, teaching us how to be humble, like Christ was and whatnot. It starts off like this. It says, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if there's any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete. By having the same love, being like-minded, being in one spirit and one purpose. So right here, basically what the word is telling us, you know, let us have this same love, you know, with Christ had, with Christ had being like minded, like he was. You know what I'm saying? Let us think and be like minded, you know, like he was, like when he was on earth, like he thought and stuff. When it come to dealing with things, you know, being complete, full of compassion and stuff. Then it goes on to say, having the same love. Let us have that same love when we deal with other people. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got the holidays coming up, we got Christmas coming up. You know, we're dealing with people, you know what I'm saying? Let us be able to show forth that same love like Christ showed forth. You know what I'm saying? It said being complete, being like-minded, having the same love, being in one spirit. Now, that's important, you know what I'm saying? That we be in one spirit and one purpose, you know what I'm saying? Let our purpose be the same, you know, when we, you know, dealing with people and stuff. You know, as we walk in this holiday season and everything, let us, you know, think like-minded, you know what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing right here. It says in verse 3, do nothing out of selfishness, ambition, or vain consent, but be, but in humility, consider others better than yourself. And this is the thing right here. This is what we have to, this is what we really have to pray and ask God to help us to walk in. Because it's saying that uh, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain consent. You know how we get, we can get, at times, you know, we can get selfish in our ways and, and everything and don't want to do nothing for nobody unless we planning on getting something out of it. You know how we can be, you know, we can be a selfish, you know, a selfish type people, you know. So he's telling us, you know, do nothing out of selfishness, you know, uh, uh, vain consent, you know. And sometimes we can be vain in our ways and whatnot and be all puffed up and conceited, but it says, but in humility. So in other words, we need to understand that the word is telling us we need to humble ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Let's be humble when we when we when we get begin to walk in these things. And God can help us with our humbleness. You know what I'm saying? If we seek him and ask him for it. You know, but let's don't deny all these other things, you know, being at work in us. You know what I'm saying? Selfish ambition and stuff like that. You know, vain consent conceit. It says, but each of you should look not only to your own interests, but in the interests of others. Now, here's the thing. You know, we as believers, sometimes, like I said, the word is dealing with the fact of, you know, let us not only look at things, you know, for what we're going to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Selfish ambition. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do nothing for you. You know, what, you know, what's in it for me? You know what I'm saying? You know, we bad about that. We need to, you know, the word tells us we need to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? Selfish ambition and everything. What are we going to get out of self-interest and stuff? You know, we need to start worrying about being considered about the interests of others. You know what I'm saying? You know, deny ourselves. You know, put others before us and everything. You know, why you know, why, you know, why you always got to win? You know what I'm saying? Let somebody else win sometime. You know what I'm saying? So, it says in verse 5, your attitude should be the same as that which is of Christ Jesus. You know what I'm saying? The same attitude. You know, you, you know, you know a lot of us need to put our attitude in check. You know what I'm saying? You know, attitude should be the same as that which was in Christ Jesus. You know what I'm saying? The same attitude. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, next time you, you know, you, you go out and you're about to go off on somebody, you know, you need to ask yourself, you know what I'm saying? Would Christ act like this? You know what I'm saying? Would he have this type of attitude in this type of situation? You know what I'm saying? So we can draw off these words and we can, we can live off this because the word of God, this is life. You know what I'm saying? So it says we should have the same attitude. And, you know, as in Christ, who was being in the very nature of God, you know what I'm saying? You know, actually, in other words, you know, dealing with the fact our nature has to change, you know what I'm saying? That we may, you know, carry on this same attitude and be able to walk in these we can things. We go on off, like I said, this is something to be gassed right here, something to think about, you know what I'm saying? But then verse 7 said, but he made, but he made himself um, nothing, taking on the very nature of a servant, you know. I'm going to stop right there, but let's, let's just spy on that right there, right there. Um, he made himself to become nothing, but taking on the very nature of a servant. You know what I'm saying? That just like give us something to think about. You know, you know, uh, stop trying. You know, always to be something to be up front. You know what I'm saying? Take on that servant, that servanthood. Serve, learn to serve. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know, uh, uh, humbling ourselves to that point. You know, when you're thinking about the, the servant aspect, you know, being a servant, you know, um, this holiday season, the next time you go out to a restaurant, think about the person that wait on your tables, you know, the servant that comes, you know, doing all this before you, you know what I'm saying? Then if you really, if you really appreciate that and understand what that person is actually doing, you know what I'm saying? A servant, you know, Jesus even one time, you know, took a basin of water, you know, uh, took a basin, filled it up with water, you know, took a towel, you know, start washing the disciples' feet, you know, and they, you know, they didn't, they didn't even expect, you know, they tried to stop him from doing something like that, but he was teaching them servanthood, how to be a servant, you know what I'm saying, the lowest of the lowest, learn to serve, you know what I'm saying, you know, put others before you, you know what I'm saying, don't, you know, don't strive to be always up front, you know what I'm saying, just learn to be a servant, you know. You know, Jesus even said the fact of, you know, with this servanthood thing that even we ourselves, you know, um, he was just demonstrating, you know what I'm saying, same way he washed, you know, the disciples' feet. You know, he he said, likewise, you know what I'm saying, you continue to do this. You know what I'm saying, he said example to do it, you know. But nowadays, man, you ain't going to catch nobody washing nobody's feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's know, you know, it's one thing to be a servant, but you ain't going to catch nobody washing nobody's feet. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, you know, but I have seen that demonstrated, you know what I'm saying? I have, you know, went to a church where they practice those things and, you know, I have had serve, I mean, to this day, you know what I'm saying? I, I never forget, it, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, wash my feet, you know, a man and a wife couple ministering, whatever they did, a foot, foot washing at their church, you know, and they humbled themselves, you know what I'm saying? Wash my feet, man, with a towel, I mean, it felt good too, you know what I'm saying? But that's just a way, you know, showing for servanthood, you know what I'm saying? Humility and whatnot, being humble, you know, like I said, nowadays, man, you got all your big dogs out there, man, your big time preachers and everybody want to be up front and all this stuff, man, ain't nobody serving, ain't nobody, don't nobody want to serve, you know what I'm saying, you know, and everything, but it's, it's hard, you know what I'm saying, I ain't saying it ain't out there, but it's hard, you know, to find somebody that's actually really serving, you know, you know, so, like I said, with this in mind, next time, you know, you go out to dinner or whatever, you know, maybe this will get you to, you know, put a decent tip. You know, leave a decent tip down for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because they working hard. They being servants unto you and everything. So that's verse 7. I think I'm going to stop right there. You know, um, uh, being you know, being made in human likeness. You know, like I said, Jesus being made, you know, made himself nothing. You know, being human, being naked, just like us. You know what I'm saying? And he set an example, you know, for us. You know what I'm saying? To humble ourselves to that degree. You know what I'm saying? So I'm Brother Harold. You know, that's out. I'm out and everything, you know, what, about, what, six, seven minutes in and stuff until, you know, y'all finish having a good day. The day is Thursday, it's wet out there, so y'all be careful and everything until we, you know, come again with that word. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Shalom, shalom. I'm out.